And good morning, everyone. My name is Lori Marie. I'm a mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. If you need more information about my workshops or artwork that I have for sale, etc., etc., please uh, visit my website, lorimariejenkins.com. Yay! <laughs> this is a Patreon exclusive, so enjoy. I will send you the image of the girl that I used, so if you choose to use that, you can. Uh, I found it very fun. And this is May Corrugated Cardboard Month. And, and it has turned out to be a lot of fun. So, ah, thank you, thank you, thank you for your support. You guys are keeping me in rust paste. <laughs> okay, see you on the table. So this is the project that we're going to work on today with the corrugated cardboard. I have a substrate with underpants on it. Um, I made a copy of a piece of artwork on music paper, glued it down, cut it out, cut it out, and then I put thumbtacks here with some rust paste. So we will let her continue to dry, but she is complete. So much fun. All right, handsome puppy's awake, so let's do a little recap. This is the picture I'm working with. So I put this on my printer to make a copy of it, and then I just ran a piece of music paper through the printer, uh, and I mod podged it down on a piece of corrugated cardboard. I was impatient and did not wait for it to dry. I'm sure none of you can relate to that. She's drier now, so I'm just running the X-Acto around the edge of her to the best of my ability. And I'm working in small chunks. And then I'm just running the bamboo stick up there and loosening the corrugated cardboard. Then I'm just going to continue to do that around her whole face and over to here.
deep breath because I want to take her face out of there too. So, <laughs> so we're going to see how that goes. Not bad. I'm going to continue on. So I'm just doing it in little chunks, cutting out some of her features, and then removing the cardboard and the music paper. So far, so good. So the nose is just too hard, so I'm afraid that the eyes are going to be too hard too. So I'm just going to leave her with some eyes. And tear this part off. Clean her up. I'm going to take this music paper off the bottom, see what happens there. I'm going to bring in some sandpaper and I'm just going to rough the texture up a little bit. Going in the grooves, pick up some of that excess that's in there. Some of it will remain, but some of it will be gone. I'm going to bring in my Stabilo and go around the edges of her. Okay, I have her stabilo'd, and I'm going to bring the black soot distress ink in and go along the edges of that cardboard. Not going to do her face, I want that to remain the plain cardboard, so I'll really add some nice depth to the exterior. Okay, I'm just going to give her a little something something extra. Touch a color. There we go. She's beautiful. Gotta go walk Hudson. So I'll add a little bit of Stabilo down here and maybe just some up here. No. But I think I'll find a piece of wood and screw her on. I think that would be really fun. All right, your turn. Go create, go play. Go have fun. Okay, good morning. I have a nice board that's bigger than my piece. So let's go ahead and finish this off. I'm going to put underpants on here. Um, no need to cover the whole thing, but uh, I'm going to go quite deep so that there are underpants under her completely. Cheers. So I'm just going to go ahead with my Mod Podge and cover this with underpants, all assorted underpants. And I am going to leave enough on the edge so that I can fold it over the substrate. Alright, I have the majority of the uh, substrate covered with underpants. Clearly she's going to fit just fine. I'm going to let this dry and then wrap it around the edge.
All right, the back is all wrapped. I'm going to put some tacky glue on the back of the art piece, on the back of the cardboard. Bring it in a gift card or a credit card and just smoosh the tacky glue around. Bring my substrate back in, set her down where I want her. put the rice bag on her. Rice bag's on. We're just going to let her dry. Then we'll come back and play with her a little bit more. Okay, I'm back from my meeting. The rice bag has done its trick. I'm bringing in the Vintage Photo Distress Ink and I am going to distress the underpants. I'm bringing in some thumbtacks. Look at this beautiful container for those thumbtacks. I think maybe four. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm going to take a thumbtack and I'm going to go in the corner and I'm going to hammer it down with my big, huge hammer. I'm going to put four tacks in. That's what we're going to start off with. And I'm going to make them uneven, of course. And rest up those little thumbtacks a little bit. I'm going to bring my Stabilo in and just go around the edges, darken the edges because of course I love that. And Stabilo around the edge of the piece, of course. She is ready to sign and add some hooks to the back and sell her. So thank you for joining me today. Your turn. Go create. Go play. Go have fun.